Yo, what's going on guys? You may notice that my um my pool looks a little bit different and that I'm playing the game. If you've seen in my community post, I did post that the account I was playing on was actually banned. I know, it sucks. Uh, it was actually banned for a month, so I won't be able to play on that account for a little while. But my friend who is in my crew, he's been busy over a little bit of time. Well, I guess the next month, right? So I'll be playing on his account because he's too busy to play on his own account. So you may be seeing a couple of videos from this account. It's pretty. It's a pretty stacked account. You can see by the pool, the pool is not optimal, but I, I just wanted to use it because, you know, why not? Uh, I want to see if we can find a Lucifer here. Let's check. Oh, we did. Okay, cool. Um, this team I'm going to go with. I don't know if this is the best team to bring, but YOLO, I guess. <laughs> I never actually fought Hades. Uh, I think the last GW, something happened. I don't remember fighting Hades. I think I overslept it or something, but um, this will be my first time fighting him. I'm actually recording it as well, so it should be pretty fun. My team, my crew is rather strong, so we probably die really fast, but hopefully we get to see a couple of his attacks and stuff. I've, I've never seen them. Start with Vera. Hit this, hit this. Now, as I mentioned, I was banned on my old account, so I'll be using this account for um, ultimate, not ultimate, um, Fa, so it should be fun. I, I am still able to play every element. So I think in terms of elements, I think I'm gonna play fire next on this account. I think fire, then wind. I kind of want to clear every element before the month is over. I think it's my game plan. So I, I think I'm gonna go like fire, wind, water, um, light. No, what for? Fire, wind, I mean, uh, <laughs> fire, wind, water, earth, then dark. Something like that is my game plan. And we'll go from there afterwards. Uh, I'll try to change that Shiva if we can. We did not, unfortunately. Uh, we can do this. I really have no clue what this boss does, but it shouldn't be that hard, I don't think. One problem with this is that I don't have... um, What's it called again? Blue Pots. So I'm gonna have a hard time healing the amount of damage the boss does, but we do have Fun Fun, and Fun Fun's a good character, so we should be fine though. I'm guessing it's gonna be trigger like every 10%. I do I did bring Hector, so Hector should cover um, us taking too much damage. Like this trigger should hurt, but I don't think it should be do that much because we do have Fun Fun and we do have debuffs on it at the moment. I kind of with the fights were like, um, not crew based. Like, I mean, they're cool that they're crew based and everything, but the problem is that they kind of just like you just run into it and you mash into it. It doesn't really take thought. Like, right now I'm thinking, but I don't need to think. I could just hit attack a lot and then throw a blue pot up and then revive. I, I guess I kind of want more strategy to it, kind of like Fa. I think Fa is like a good way for the, the game direction to go in. So I kind of want more content like that. But obviously I understand that they can't have everything like that. It's a mobile game. If everything's like that, then it's going to just be annoying. Okay. Go with Shiva. Bing, bing, bing. I think I've been liking Vera a lot. I brought Vera to this because the fact that one, she, I don't know what the boss does, and two, I like her a lot, honestly. She has been helping me and keeping me alive, so I thought, why not? Hopefully, this doesn't kill me. I did put a Hector on just to make sure I, I don't die from it. I remember in Zeus, Zeus would clear his debuffs and like kill you every other turn. So I've been kind of expecting that to happen here. But I guess this boss is more about just debuffing you or something. I haven't taken any fatal damage yet. So I don't know what the whole gimmick of this boss is right now. Drop our Baja. I'm going to try to chain my Thor with a, a Shiva if I can. Or when the boss clears the debuffs or something. I love when Vera gets that proc. 
pretty cool. Pluto's impact? I guess it is. Uh, that's, that didn't do anything. Huh. I guess because of uh, Vera, right? Vera being up, that's why I didn't do anything. But still, it, I, w I was expecting a little bit more than that. Oh well. We get the the full benefit here of Shiva and Thor. That was a little good, a little good burst. Can't complain about that. Get a little bit more burst right here. Okay, I'll take it. Could have been better. Been better as in like, I guess we we chain in a Shiva or something. But I guess that's pushing my luck, right? I do have revive on fun fun, so even if like it wipes my party, I'll just revive with fun fun. I don't know how long it's gonna take actually. We're at 75 and what? We're six minutes in. He does no damage though, but he's healing. He's not healing a lot though, but he is still healing. I guess it's the um Oh he has the the buff, right? Oh okay, that's why he's healing. Ah, okay, makes sense. It's the one that that's on um Dark the John weapon. That's the only that's the only reason I remember it. Because I remember somebody using her weapon for ultimate oh no. I keep saying ultimate Bahamut, but I meant to say Fa. I'm so used to doing ultimate Bahamut as like the hardest tier raid that Naturally, I'll, I keep saying Ultimate Bahamut, even though I don't mean it. Okay, let's go with this. So far, this boss has been a joke, honestly. It has, it has not done anything. I swear Zeus was harder than this. Maybe I'm, I'm forgetting, but I, I'm pretty sure Zeus is way harder. I feel like I was actually dying in Zeus. Keep in mind, though, I was playing Dark, right? Um, light is so good at sustain and, and survivability that I mean like Vera fun fun. How do you compete? I probably should have brought double juice maybe something else. Oh, I think we did take damage there. Keep in mind 2k is actually 2k is the actual considerably big number on Vera. Not many enemies can actually hit 2k on Vera skill 1. So that did do a lot of damage. Is it that we had Vera up right there? If we did it, that probably would have been like 8k to the party. Maybe a little bit more. Um, we're at 60 now. We're almost at 50. I'll, I'll save Hector for 50. Because I don't know what's going to happen at 50. I'm going to assume it gets a little bit harder though. We're gonna put it back on Fun Fun. I'm just trying to keep Fun Fun alive, to be honest. I'm not hitting um, the star because I don't want to die by like, I don't know, some random Ogi or something. I'd rather that not happen. Also this pump, pump it up sticker is pretty cute. Wait, Rosetta? I know they added a couple new stickers with Grimnir as well. I think he has a new sticker. So that's pretty cool. They're adding stuff like that. Though so you don't really get to see stickers much because most people are probably refreshing the game all willy nilly. Okay. So yeah, he did. Look like he, he cleared his debuffs and stuff. So we could just throw a Hector here. I would have liked to had um, Vera skill one up right now, but up next turn. And that's okay. We do have the defense buff from um, Vera's weapon, so we should be fine. Unless it's a debuff that casts death on my party. Oh, it dispelled me. That's, that, that's worse. <laughs> I would have preferred that not happen, actually. 
Oh, we can clear this debuff, I guess. And we can use the Lucifer. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's use Bahamut and use skill one. Let's go with that option instead. But yeah, so far Hades has been a pushover, honestly. I must be remembering wrong, but I feel like Zeus is definitely the harder boss. I kind of wish they'd do the other primals. Um, well, we already have a Titan boss. Technically, we had a Varuna boss because we had the Octopus uh, about a year ago, I think. So it would be nice to have Varuna herself to fight against. Um, other bosses, uh, we already have Titan, Agnes, and um, Celestials. So I guess they, I, I guess they covered every Primal right now. I guess it was just really Varuna that's missing. Oh, we can grab that Shiva if we can. Oh, we did. I, I have to be getting pretty lucky chaining all these Shivas. It's not often that uh, you get to chain that many. Keep in mind though, most of players are EN, so no one here is like really Japanese. If you're wondering why I mentioned Japanese, it's because they have better ping. Better ping makes it easier to, ch to chain and summon and stuff like that. If you ever like join a Japanese train or something like that, and you like try to chain a summon, it's like next to impossible. We missed? I guess blind proc, I guess. Somebody got knocked out. I don't know, how did, how did you get knocked out on, on light though? I haven't taken any damage. I wonder how we're doing. We're doing super bad. Keep in mind, I'm not refreshing. Most of my people in my crew are refreshing their life away. So. Oh, this is how they took damage. Oh. What's, what's this? Did we heal it now? I'm guessing it's the heal, right? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we need one turn on, on Fun Fun's heal. Okay. Not her heal, her skill too, I think, yeah. I was keeping track of the turns in my head, so. It was just unfortunate that we ended up having um, us get hit with a debuff on a downturn. This damage is so high. While this pool is not optimal, this damage, this damage is absurd. Um, we can go with skill one there. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I thought about using Star, but he, he's gonna Ogi. He almost had 25. So I, I don't want to risk it and have my Vera take like 40k and then you get exploded or something. I'd rather that not happen. Oh, just in case anybody's asking about the Dark Orpis weapon, um, it currently doesn't have any skill on it, like any skill fodder. So I have to get some skill fodder for me to use that. It's like skill level one. That's why I didn't like I didn't build an optimal pool. Not to build anything I felt that but it's good enough. I mean this I guess tell about the damage. This is more than enough damage. Kind of what's that defense buff? Uh, I don't know how it really reacts with Vera skill uh, one. I don't know how much value does Vera really gain on her on the Ogi. If it stacks, then it's, it's not really that great to be honest. Like what, it's a hundred percent defense up, right? I don't think that's that great on like Vera. 
though, on, turn, on her downturns, like right now, it's pretty good. Helps with the team. I think we were taking like 5k on our Ogi, which is not bad. We like we're not gonna get 30 out of 30. Right now we're 23. We need one more turn, I believe, on Fun Fun. But yeah, I'm definitely not impressed by this boss, honestly. I feel like this boss is just a pushover compared to um compared to the other one. Though it, it can just be an element thing. I, I light is really good. Light has everything covered, so you don't have to worry about anything when you play light. Like Phalanx and none of that. I didn't even realize we had uh, a Spartan. In hindsight, I probably should have took Rune Slayer and Fairy. But I kind of wanted to go with a more safe approach. I, I didn't want to bring an approach where I can die because I don't have any blue pots. Like I have no healing items. So I didn't. I didn't want to take the chance of dying. Like right now, we could potentially die if we run into ten percent. Because Fun Fun has no revive on her right now. And I should have hit her button. <laughs> but I'm doing it now, so. But yeah, I, di I didn't want to go in with a, like a, a bad strat and get myself killed. Would have been embarrassing for a video. Did he increase his defense or something? Yeah, look at that. That did quite, quite the damage. We're gonna use revive on Vera. I thought about using auto revive, but then I was like, no point. I'm sure he's gonna do it again anyway. So I guess the challenge really comes when he gets the 10%. But I feel like he should have that that skill a little bit earlier, like 50. Though it looks like the one shot the unit completely. But I think that's okay. When you have all the revives and stuff, I think that's perfectly fine. Also, it seems like he increased the defense. Never mind, we don't have defense down really. We're not capping defense down right now. Uh, let's go with this. So I'm guessing it'll be another one shot move. Bad to guess. Death Grace, Untomb. What's this? I did quite, quite the damage, actually. Not, not enough to like kill me or anything, but. Enough for me to be a little bit worried. Okay. I don't. I think the boss is pretty much done. I don't think it has any more triggers after this. To be honest, it probably would have been soloable. To be honest, I didn't really try it because it takes so long. I believe it has like 600 million health or something like that. Not, no, not even like six, like three billion. Cause this is the level 151. So I'll probably be here all like day doing that. Look at the rewards we got. Let's check. We didn't get anything good. I don't think you can't get anything good actually from the boss. Did you get a sunstone? No, we did not. Oh, right. You don't get the sunstone because the rank Rest in peace, rest in peace. But that's the, that's the um, Hades fight. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be streaming Ultim, not Ultim. I'm gonna keep saying Ultimate, ain't I? I'll be streaming Fa um, again, starting uh, tomorrow, which is April 23rd. So if you guys wanna watch on my Twitch channel, I'll be streaming it there. Uh, see you guys next time, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.